For changing the Android devices screen resolution, you have to have a rooted Android device. Hey guys, Diamond Zombie here, and this is a tutorial how to change your screen resolution on any any Android device. So, what you're gonna do is have an app called No Moan Resolution Changer, which is down on that screen you can see. So. I'm going to go and link the uh, the app link so you, you will see down in the description you can click on it and it will automatically direct you to the app and download it and install it so open it and then it will say this just click backscape you can see this is the place where it shows you can type in to which screen solution to change it but it depends on your Android screen size because, well, you know why. My screen size is you can see up there in the current settings. There are templates for the popular phones if you have one. But if you don't, you can just type in the screen resolution to what you want to change. You can search Google or something, but I will do just one add one to the start of the screen resolution, nor my normal one. And for this, just type your current settings for it. You can see mine is 210 up there. Then click Apple. And you can see in the screen resolution, screen resolution will change in a minute. Not in a minute, but in second kind. Of. See, the screen resolution is now changed the, to that what you have set it to. But the... Uh, the buttons won't work like backscapes, home or more button. To fix that there's an option down there which says virtual buttons. So you are going to click on the toggle virtual buttons option here and will you see there are virtual buttons down there. And you can add to some more customized virtual buttons which is very 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 cool. But to restore your screen what you have to do is go back right now see an option called restore default what you're gonna do is click on it and it will set it automatically back to default you had before so so here we go each working nuts so Hope you guys found this video actually useful and worked for you. Make sure to comment down below in if it worked. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want some more of this tutorial content, well, say it in the description. And see you guys next time. Bye!